Um, let's start off. We're going to do um, keep a block handy or a cushion and a belt and things like that. So we'll do a little bit of yin. Um, but what we'll do is we'll start off by coming onto our backs. And let's have the soles of the feet together and the knees out wide. So just come into the breath for a few moments and maybe sigh out the first two or three exhales. Just bring your awareness into how you're feeling right here, right now, in this moment. So just be aware of any aches, any pains that you might be experiencing. And just acknowledging it, not judging it in any way, just being aware of it. As you place your hands on the rib, just feel that rib space as we inhale. Just slowly move your awareness to the heart and the shoulders. As we inhale, just feel the lungs fill all the way up as the heart pushes up towards the sky. Exhale, calm and back. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. And I want you just to bring your awareness to the sacrum and the pelvis, just resting against the mat. And maybe take a little rock from side to side. Just notice how it feels in the hips and the knees. And just the feet as they're on the mat. Just take a couple more breaths. When you're ready, I want you to slowly come up on the inhale. So just draw the knees in towards each other and bring each knee to the chest one by one. And give yourself a nice little squeeze and a gentle rock from side to side. And we're going to come to stillness. So we're going to inhale as we lift the forehead towards the knees. Start engaging the core here. Exhale to lower. Two more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale to now. One more. Inhale. Exhale to now. And slowly bring the feet to the mat. We're going to take the arms to the side. Then we're going to inhale as we lift the hips up, coming into our bridge pose. So just notice the glutes engaging, the feet pressing into the mat. See if you can lift that heart as well. So we're just lifting that sternum up as well. We're creating space in the upper body. We're going to stay here for three. For two, for one, and really slowly come back to the mat. And we're going to take hold of the belt now. We're going to just do a few little bit of yin poses. So I want you to take that right foot up, place the belt around the middle arch. You can keep the left knee bent or straight. Bring both elbows towards the mat. As we inhale, we start bringing that right leg towards the upper body. So this is to open up the hamstrings. Remember, you can bend that knee a little bit if you want. Squirt with the breath. Just 
just find a point where it's comfortable for you. You don't want to be feeling any pain here. Few more breaths. It's a really nice hamstring stretch. Take a nice inhale. Exhaling all the way out. One more inhale and exhale slowly release. Just move that belt to the side. I'm going to just give that right leg a nice little squeeze, bend that knee in towards the chest. I'm going to flex that foot and point and take a few rotations in both directions. Nice. And we're going to stay with the right leg. So we're going to take the belt around the right leg, the right foot even again. Take hold of it in the right hand. You can leave that left knee where it is, or you can straighten that leg. But discipline yourself here and place that left hand on top of that left hip. So you want to be opening up that right hip rather than rolling out to the right. So when you're in time, just start bringing that right leg out to the right. If you feel that left hip lifting, push it down. Maybe take that right leg in a bit. And use that belt for support. Just notice how it feels. If there's any pain, just come out of it a little bit. Always reduce that intensity if you need to. We're going to be here for a little bit longer, so make any adjustments. Just let yourself be for a few more breaths. Take a deep inhale all the way in and exhale. One more time. Exhale. And when you're ready, slowly release. Just gently remove that belt, bring it to the side. We're going to bring that right knee in again. Give it a nice little squeeze. Just flex, point that foot, and rotate the ankle in both directions. And just give that leg a nice little massage as well. We're going to move over to the other side. So I'm just going to spin around in my little room. And we're going to bring the belt around the left foot. So remember, it might be different on this side. Keep the left, right knee bent or straight, entirely up to you. Take hold of the belt nice and securely. And as you inhale, just start drawing that left leg towards the upper body. Just do it as far as it's comfortable for you. Remember, this is your practice. I suppose the good thing about Zoom is there's less chance of the ego creeping in because you're not necessarily watching everybody else. And what they're doing. So you really are focusing on your body.
I'm going to stay here for a few more breaths. So if you need to make any changes, then, then please do so. Just settle in for the last few breaths. Take a deep inhale all the way in. And exhale. And again. Let's take one more inhale. And as you exhale, slowly release. Just move that belt to the side. Bring that knee into the chest. And again, just flex and point and rotate the ankle in both directions. It should feel quite nice when you're doing these yin poses. Might be a nice stretch, but it shouldn't be painful. So we're going to come back to that left leg. So this time I'm going to bring that belt around the centre of the foot again. Take hold of it with the left hand. Straighten that right leg, keep it bent, your choice, but bring that right hand onto that right hip. I'm going to try and stretch into the left side here. So it might be different on this side. I'm definitely a little bit tighter on my left. And that's not a bad thing. Sometimes if you know you're less sort of flexible or mobile on one side, then maybe that's something to work with a little bit. Maybe you might want to do a bit more on the left side sometimes, or your weaker side. I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer, so if you need to make any changes, then please feel free to do so. Take a deep inhale all the way in. Exhale. And again. Uh, and when you're ready, slowly release on the exhale. Just gently move that belt to the side. And we're going to just squeeze that left leg and flex and point the foot and rotate the ankle. Nice. I'm going to bring both feet to the mat, the arms by the side. And we're going to inhale as we lift up into bridge bones. We're going to hold it here for three, for two, for one, and release. Lower down. Inhale to lift, and then we're going to pulse it here. We're just going to work for the through the glutes for a few moments. So pulse it here. Notice the glutes engaging as we lift. I'm going to stay here for three, for two, for one, and release. Nice. And I want you to bring that right foot over that left thigh. And just naturally see where that right hip is open. Just see where your body's at right now. And you can take the right hand and just create a little bit more space if it's available. Keep that right foot flexed so we're protecting the knee. And if you want, you can loop the hands through around the left thigh or the left shin. Just stay here for a few moments. Remember to keep breathing when you're in these poses. 
quite easy to forget to breathe. Let's just take a few more breaths. When you're ready, slowly release. And just bring that right foot to the mat. Let's take that left foot up this time, over that right thigh. And let's do the same on the other side. So just see where that left hip opens out. You take the hand and make a little bit more space if you want. And you can loop the hands through. And again, just notice if there's a difference. It's absolutely normal. I'm definitely tight on the left hip. Just be kind to your body, mindful, breathing all the way in, all the way out. Just taking a few more breaths. When you're ready, slowly release. Bring that foot to the mat, arms by the side. Inhale, lift up into bridge pose. And this time, if you want to take the right leg up, you can do that. See if you can keep that lift for three, for two, for one. And release, slowly come down. Take a couple of breaths. And let's do it again. Lift up the hips. Option to take that left leg in the air this time. And hold it here for three, for two, for one. And really slowly come back to the mat. We're going to just work into the abs for a few moments. I want you to take both legs in the air. Press the feet towards the ceiling. And just flex and point and rotate the ankles. And slowly start opening the legs out wide. And I want you to just bring them down towards the mat on a hover point. And we're going to cross them over each other. Tap the abs, see that they're engaging. And we're going to cross the right leg over the left, left leg over the right. And just take a few of these in your own breath. The three. The two. The one. And release. And just hug it in. Take a few breaths to rest. And the next exercise we're going to do, just while you're resting, is we're going to take both legs up in the air again. And this time we're going to inhale as we lift the chest and take the fingers up towards the toes. And then we're going to slowly hug the knees into the chest and we're going to rock up into our boat pose. And we're going to take low boat to high boat and slowly come back to the mat. So that's going to be one round. So do maybe through between three and five, whatever you're comfortable with. So when you're ready, let's take the legs up. We're going to inhale as we lift the chest off, take the fingers up towards the toes. Hold it here for a couple of breaths. And when you're ready, slowly draw the knees into the chest, rock up into your boat pose. Take a couple of low boat to high boat. And then the last one, slowly come down. And you can take a couple of breaths between each one if you want. Go again. So you do feel that one. It is quite strong, so just be careful. And don't force it.
I think for me, I find it quite a good motivator if I tap the abs while I'm doing the exercise a little bit. So I'm going to do one more. I'm doing five, so just do as many as you're comfortable with. Oh, I think five is probably enough for me. So when you finish, we're just going to lie here for a few breaths. Really just let the abs completely relax. When you're ready, just bring your feet to the mat. Knees bent, arms out wide. We're going to inhale as we lift the hips, shift it to the right slightly as we twist over to the left. Probably you can take the gaze wherever it's comfortable. Breathe all the way in, all the way out. Take a couple more breaths out. And when you're ready, we'll come back to centre on the inhale. Take a moment. Bring the arms out wide again. We're going to inhale as we lift the hips, shift it to the left this time as we twist over to the right. Remember to breathe all the way in, all the way out. Feel that space. Yeah. Take a couple more breaths. When you're ready, slowly coming up with me now. Just bring yourself into a nice big stretch. And let's roll over onto our front. I want you to bring the hands under the shoulders, press the tops of the feet into the mat as we come up into our up dog. Come onto the forearms if it's a little bit uncomfortable. Just breathe in. Breathe out. If you find that there's a bit of discomfort in the lower back or you're pinching, then just maneuver it slightly. Move the hands a little bit forward. Maybe do come onto the forearms. It's your choice. Just a few more breaths. When you're ready, let's cut the toes under, lift the hips up, coming into our tabletop position. And we're going to take our cat cow breath. So as you inhale, tilt the pelvis towards the mat, draw the belly down, shoulders in, gaze up. Exhale, let's reverse that motion. Take your time, round the shoulders, take the gaze down. Working into the whole body now. 
just take a couple more and we'll come back to our neutral spine. I want you to slowly sit back onto the heels. You can tuck the toes under or untuck them. And inhale as you lift up. Exhale to lower. Inhale. Exhale. Three more times. Nice and big. Just take a few shoulder rolls, both directions, nice. We're going to slowly come into the forearms at the top of the mat. So just take hold of opposite elbows, check that you're roughly shoulder distance apart. Bring the hands out in front of you, and we're going to come into our forearm dog. Now, what you can do, you've got options. You can stay here, you can bend the knees, we'll come out of it if you want, or you can come forward into your dolphin dog push-ups, or... If you want, you can have a little go at forearm headstand. So what I want you to do here is just open the hands out, keep the fingers entwined, bring the flattish bit of the head onto the mat, lift the knees off, and slowly walk the feet towards the body. You can stay here, or you can have a go at tucking one knee in at a time. Just do what you want to do. We'll be here for a few breaths. Wherever you are, just take a couple more goes. And slowly make your way into child's pose. And we'll just stay in child's pose for a short while. Just to rest. Going to take two more breaths in child's pose, and when you're ready, come into your tabletop position. Where you slowly tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, coming into your downward facing dog. So let's pedal the feet and the knees. Press the hands into the mat. Take the shoulders away from the ears. Keep a nice strong back and pelvis. We're going to inhale as we lift the heels. Exhale to lower. Two more times. Nice. So we're going to take three lion's breaths here. Put that strength in the body. Put that strength in the back and the arms as well. Let's take a deep inhale. As you exhale, take the gaze between the hands and slowly walk the feet towards the hands. Come into the top of the mat, into your rag doll. And let's just hang out here for a few moments. You can shake it out. Swing. Remember, there's any pain or discomfort in the legs or the back. Just bend the knees. Just come to stillness and hang here for a few moments. When you're ready, let's slowly start coming all the way up. Come onto the tiptoes, take the hands all the way up, your choice. 
and release. So just shake it out as you come into your um, Tadasana even. <laughs> not Shavasana, not just yet. If you keep the feet a little bit apart from one, lift the toes up, spread them out as you bring them back to the mat. Shoulders away from the ears, arms by the side. And just take a little bit of the weight towards the heels. Nice neutral pelvis. And the face soft. And slowly open the eyes as they close. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway in. Exhale as we step back into plank pose. Hold it, hold it here. Press the hands into the mat. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, just bend those elbows. Work into the triceps. Let's open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Take a deep inhale, exhale, gaze between the hands, step or walk, feet to hands, inhale, halfway in, exhale to fold, inhale to rise, through the stars and exhale to release. And inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as we step back into plank. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, let's lower it down. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Now you can stay here for a bit or you can lower the elbows, work into the triceps, your choice. Take a deep inhale, exhale. And inhale as you lift that right leg in the air. Let's bend the knee, bring the right foot between the hands. Inhale, lift up into your low lunge. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, we're going to lower that back knee. Inhale to knee and lower and keep it going. For three, for two, for one, and keep it lowered, and we're going to twist over to the right, back through centre, twist over to the left, and back through centre. And this time again, inhale, we straighten that front leg, lift the hands up, come into a little back bend if you want, exhale to lower, bend into that front leg, let's come all the way down. Bring the hands to the inside of that right foot, coming into your side lunge. Let's release that left hand. Take a nice little stretch up over to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, slowly release the hand and just let your bum come to the mat. Support yourself. Bring that right foot to the inside of that left thigh. And we're going to take... Inhale as we lift and lengthen through the right side, and we're just going to stretch over towards that left leg. Keep that left foot nice and flexed, micro bend if you need. Inhale, take the gaze up if it's available. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's inhale, sweep that right hand behind us, shoot that left arm up and the hip coming into our little. Baby, welcome. Remember to draw that heart towards the sky. And exhale, come back to the mat. Let's frame that front foot again. Shoot that right leg in the air for our three-legged dog. Option to drop into dog. Option to come into a three-legged vinyasa flow. Your choice. Now we're going to meet the downward facing dog. Let's take three lines back right here.
You can stay here or you can lower the elbows if you want to work into the triceps. It's your choice. It's just something that I'm working on. You don't have to do it. It's entirely up to you. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, gaze between the hands, step or walk, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale to release. Take a few breaths. We're going to work through the other side. Come back into a Tadasana, make any adjustments that you need. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's take it into plank pose. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, let's lower it down. Hug the elbows in, chest comes down. Inhale, we open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Option two, lower the elbows. Your choice. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale, lift that left leg in the air, bend the knee, bring the left foot between the hands. Inhale, coming up for your low lunge. Nice. So we're going to slowly lower that back knee and lift. Just take a few of those in your own time. Crunching is optional as it's happening with me. Got some noises. Let's come back. Let's twist over to the left. Come through centre, let's twist over to the right. Come through centre, let's straighten that front leg, take the arms up. You can come into a back bend. And let's come back, slowly bending into that knee. Let's come all the way down, bring the hands to the inside of that left foot, coming into a low lunge on the left side. Release that right hand towards the sky. Nice little stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. When you're ready, slowly bring your bum to the mat. Press that left foot towards the inside of that right thigh. And we're going to inhale as we lift the left and through the left, stretching it over that right leg. We're almost there. We've got about five minutes to go. Just take the gaze up if it's available. Feel that breath and space in the upper body. And let's inhale, come up, sweep that left hand behind. Inhale as we shoot the hips up, coming into our baby world. Thing. Remember, if you feel a pinch in the lower back here, you can always reduce the intensity or just picture that sternum and heart lifting up and creating space. And when you're ready, slowly release. Let's bring that front foot. Shoot the left leg in the air this time. Option to release, option to flow through a three-legged vinyasa. And then we're going to meet. Downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, one more in now. Exhale, gaze between the hands, step or walk, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale to release. Let's take the hands to the waist. Take that left leg out wide. Come into your goddess pose. Let's bring the hands out wide. Whatever is comfortable for your shoulders. And we're going to pulse it here for five, four, three, two, one. And stay. Draw the knees back. We're going to bring the hands behind us, take hold of the hands, shoot the fist towards the mat, draw the shoulders in, slowly straighten the legs, and let's hinge forward from the hips coming into our forward fold. And slowly release the arms, take them to the mat or wherever it's comfortable. And I want you to slowly bring that right hand to the centre underneath the face. Inhale, we lift that left arm up, twisting over to the left. And you can take the hand and just sweep the ribs up towards the left as well. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Take one more inhale. Exhale to release. Switch it over. Right arm comes up. Deep inhale. Exhale to release. And I want you to slowly bring the hands to the waist. Come all the way up. And let's bring that left leg in. Come back to the top of the mat. You've got a few minutes to go. Bring the feet mat distance apart and slowly start making your way into your yogi squat. So come all the way down. Feel free to let yourself wobble out a bit. That's totally fine. And we're going to bring the bum to the mat. Let's keep the feet together. Open them out like a book. Inhales, we lift and lengthen through the upper body. Exhale, let's hinge forward from the hips. Neutral spine for a nice deep inhale. And exhale to release. ready slowly start coming up on the next inhale and i want you to draw the knees in towards each other and bring yourself towards the mat onto the forearms inhale we breathe into the upper body slowly come down all the way into your final shavasana so remember just to relax into it let's take a deep inhale and as you exhale just sigh out We're going to start deepening the breath. Just slowly start wriggling the fingers and the toes. And rotating the ankles and the wrists in both directions. Just give yourself a nice big stretch. And in your own time, we're going to meet in our comfortable cross-legged position. So just do any little movements or stretches that you need to do. When you are in your seat position, see if you can keep the eyes closed and the face soft. And we're going to bring the hands to heart center. We're going to end today's practice with our three clearing breaths. Just slowly bring in the thumbs up to the third eye if you want to. Just remembering that the 
inner light in me will always honor the inner light in each and every one of you as individual amazing people. And I know the last few months have been stressful and difficult for everyone. There's something that I've sort of been learning recently that I've been fearing a lot of things been fearing a lot about the future and change. I think what we need to start doing more of is embracing that fear, letting it in, giving it a nice big squeeze and see if we can turn it maybe a little bit into excitement. Thank you so much for today's practice. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks, Shab. Thanks a lot. And I'll send you an email and let you know what's happening next. Thanks, Shabs. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye.